Calgary is a city best known for its cowboys and rodeos, but now you can add hip-hop to the list. Tonight on the scene, Karen Rosnick talks to a guy who's a big part of Calgary's hip-hop connection. In the mid-80s, hip-hop dances like Breaking burst out of the streets of L.A. and New York and into dance clubs all over the world. But just as the dance began to gain mainstream attention, it disappeared. Or did it? Well, no, hip-hop never really went away. In fact, one man has spent the last 15 years of his life perfecting the art. And he's from right here in Calgary. <laughs> Award-winning Bradley Reckon Shoes Rapier is at the top of his game. Five, six, seven. Recently, the LA-based performer and choreographer returned to his home turf to teach a workshop at Decidely Jazz Dance Works. For Rapier, it's also a chance to pass on the lost art of hip-hop. The dance kind of died in terms of the mass public wanting to see it as much, and it became more of a grassroots thing again. And now, when it's coming back now through the 90s, dance is more involved. It's so involved that big name acts like Salt and Pepper, Boys to Men, even the legendary Diana Ross have all requested his talents. But to this hometown b boy, it's just part of the job. It's work. You, you get there, you, know, you start rehearsing, you meet them, you know, they're being cool people. The best part is when they're cool people, and they usually all are. I mean, they're usually just regular people, you know, who come in and they have their bad day or they have their bad hair day or they have, you know, and you get to know them and you rehearse and you do their stuff and they're funny. And, but mainly you're initially just learning the steps, you're, you're learning the stuff and you're working with them, making sure you get the, you're doing your job. But just how does a guy from Calgary make it in L.A.? Lots of persistence and the desire to show the world what he does best, perform. Right. Right. It is a rush. When you do the show, I won't lie, that's just like, <gasps> woo! But usually you forget it, it's over, you don't remember it, because it's just kind of, you know, you work so hard, it's like, a, let's say a 20 minute show, and then you do it, and it seemed like it lasted a minute, because it's just like, it's over, I want to do it again. Well, today's music is bringing back the sound of hip hop, Rapier says the dance has lost some of its basic foundations. A lot of them hit little parts of style, so they're doing a hip hop thing, and all of a sudden they go like, click, click, but then they don't know that that, is a whole style. So they're missing out on the whole history of it. Back in LA, Rapier will try to resurface that history in a street play and documentary. For The Scene, I'm Karen Rosnick. Well, that's a tough act to follow, but now to our hip hop happening meteorologist, <laughs> Master S, as in Steve Rothfels. What's it like out there, Steve? Master S is a bit 